the last time we were going through the proverbs we were doing Ethiopian proverbs and the last proverb that we did our viewers and subscribers anyone randomly could just have read or listen to the, the proverb be cryptic in their own meaning give a translation leave it in the comment section and we would read that on the day when we reread our viewers and subscribers comment um, we will be starting with that proverbs as we always do and this proverb stated that a house that is built by God a house that is built by God will be completed in the Bible they say except the Lord build at a house they labor in vain that build it except the Lord keep it the city the watchman watch it but in vain simply so that whatever God is involved in whatever God is with will prosper without a doubt for the true God of creation and of life and of everything is true to his creations is a loving God so whatever he is in and whatever he he consents to will might be manifested in, in proper time that was an Ethiopian proverb another Ethiopian proverb God is never in a hurry but he's always there at the proper time which is true there was once a story of one set of, a, of well, the one set of footprints in the sun where this individual during their lives during the during the part of their life that they thought that everything was good it was always two sets of footprints always two sets of footprints but whenever they were struggling they would look back in the sun and notice that there is only one set of footprint and they were always um, complaining that when they're going through stuff hardest time there by itself it is not so it is such that God is carrying you because whenever you see the one set of footprints it's not your own footprints but it's the power of the most high God that is carrying you through at that point in time so this is telling you to be um, faithful and to endure because once you endure God is going to be there in the proper time lest you give up if you give up then you know that you're not going to see the fulfillment of your faith Another Ethiopian proverb, the one whom God clothes will never go naked. And this goes more than, it speaks more than just physical clothing. It's about um, wisdom, it's about peace of spirit, peace of mind, it's about um, fruits of the spirit. It's that those that God loves, his hands are always on them, his anointings are always in their life, his spirit pervades them. And this is a fact. So the one who God clothes will never go naked. Another Ethiopian proverb. The poor man's tool is his tongue with which he defends himself. The poor has, <laughs> only has their words. They don't have the wealth. They don't have the prestige of the liars. They don't have... Some of them don't even have the education, but what they do have are their words, their ability to be liberal and declare themselves, to defend themselves. It's not to just to communicate, but it's the fact of defending themselves to protect what they have because they don't have strength of arms, but they have strength of words as they can relate and they can express themselves. So the poor man's main tool is his tongue with which he defends himself. Another Ethiopian proverb. We do not see God, only his works. This is a fact. Those who are able to see God through nature, those who are able to see the Almighty through his works, it's on the works of things that he had created, and realize that the depth, the beauty, the density, the, the magnitude of the things God has created are surpassing, are surpassing the great. So we do serve a great God and we can use his works and mark some of his strength but it's not all of his strength because we have not seen God in full. Another Ethiopian proverb. 
you can neither trust the rainy season sky nor baby's bottoms. You can never predict when the rain is gonna fall. You can never predict when a child is going to um, wet or, or defecate on themselves. This is a fact. And if you look, it, it's talking about um, not being careless, it's talking about being, being aware, talking about um, being prepared, it's talking about not leaving things to chance. So you cannot do, you don't leave things to chance, you always make a decision beforehand so then you can have something tangible to work with and you can be prepared for whatever is going to come because you have thought. So you can't trust the rainy season sky and you can't trust the, rain, the baby's bottom. So you have to prepare, you have to look out for the mishaps. Another Ethiopian proverb. One who plants grapes by the roadside and one who marries a pretty woman share the same problem. Grapes by the roadside represent fruits, something valuable being in the public. Right by the roadside where anyone can pluck them is like a man who has a pretty wife because every man who sees that wife will be tempted by her beauty. Simply put, right there. And we will be retiring from Ethiopian Proverbs and we will be going into going into the state of Africa Guinea we'll be going into Guinea Proverbs right now now this proverb from the Guinea Guinean proverb he who has done evil expects evil. Let's talk about people who are negative, who have a cold heart, and they expect evil to be returned, and they would probably cry and beg, beg for mercy, even if you weren't going to do anything. If they see see you to, if something had happened and they see you come back to them, they probably think you should be returning the evil. So they expect it. So they look for evil. Another Guinea proverb A good deed is something one returns. So, a good deed is not just done and it goes. And this is from Africa. This is ancient knowledge from even before slavery. So, we weren't taught these things. Our parents were given all these proverbs, us here in the West Indies, us here in the, the Western and Northern Hemisphere, nothing at home. This is very profound. A good deal is something one returns is a fact. Because being blessed with a favor, being blessed with kindness, in the time when it's needed most, it's good to return it when it's needed. You know, it's something that is returned. Another Guinea proverb. He who does not cultivate his field die of hunger. This is here is telling you everyone should farm. And it would be better for us if everyone were farming, for then we would not have to buy generic food and we wouldn't have to buy um genetically modified food we wouldn't have to eat garbage we would be able to eat proper food so everyone this year recommends that everyone should have a garden lest they die of hunger another guinea proverb knowledge is like a garden if it is not cultivated it cannot be harvested here it is showing that one does not delve in if one does not seek after knowledge if one does not hold knowledge as a prize it cannot be a crown to the head it cannot be beauty to thy neck it cannot help you or it cannot avail yourself of something that you do not have in other words another gimme proverb one camel does not make fun of the other camel's lump you know in jamaica they would say the pot is cursing the kettle a person with the same handicap as another person is laughing after that person, they both have one leg and one laughing after one. It's not ironic, it's a bit, it's a bit of melancholy, it's a bit of madness, you know? So it's it's not fitting for that to happen. 
another guinea proverb no matter how long the winter spring is sure to follow um, this is in contrast to a proverb I had read before um, let me see if I can remember what proverb I had read it in I think it's Ethiopia it was in the Ethiopian proverb where it says no matter how long the night is the day is sure to come well this is a, almost the same thing this is talking about going in long periods the winter represents coldness being numb represents lack represents ignorance again almost represents darkness and the spring represents the light and the warmth the happiness to go a new beginning a new birth so no matter how you are in stages of, of, of non-progress we'll find a stage of progress no matter how we're in the stage of um, lacking of wisdom we'll find a stage of wisdom because once we are surviving and overcoming we can attain the higher knowledge Guinean proverb knowledge without wisdom is like water in the sun knowledge without wisdom is like water in the sand you cannot have access to it and if the water is in the sand and you want it you'll have to dig in the middle of the sand and separate the sand and allow the water to settle in the middle of the sand so here it's telling you to dig for knowledge, it's telling you to go for knowledge. That's what it's saying, it's saying seek for knowledge and you can find it because if it's in the sand, you cannot take it up with the sand. You have to separate the sand, dig a hole in the sand, remove the sand to both sides in a, 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 a hole and then the water will settle. In the that's like, that's digging for knowledge, seeking for knowledge to make it accessible. Around the flowing, another Guinean proverb, around the flowing tree, tree Around the flowering tree, there are many insects. Wherever there is progress, this one is simply saying, wherever there is abundance, there is progress. Wherever there is something good happening, where there is going to be abundance of fruit, where there is going to be an overflow of, of a spoil, there is going to be something blossoming, something good happening. There are going to be those waiting to get a share of the spoil or to take advantage of what's being prepared, what's there available. That's what that one is saying. So guard yourself if you are if you are a flowering tree or a plant because there will be many insects around waiting for a piece of the blossom. Another Gideon proverb: Knowledge of leadership is not plucked from the air; one is born with it. So this is talking about hereditary traits, people who are born with a certain tolerance, a certain discipline, because it was harnessed and developed by a parent before them and then are passed down in the genetics because it's taught that you pass down genetics the code in the, of, of, the, of the chromosome and the genetic strand they are direct, directly hereditary things are passed down clear color even behavior patterns can be directly passed down so it's saying that leadership qualities one are one is born with such of such this is a fact another guinean proverb and this is going to be a profound one. When the hunter returns and is holding mushrooms, don't ask him about how his hunt went. <laughs> when a hunter who hunts livestock returns with, with, with herbs, you don't have to ask him how the hunt went. It's evident. So do not provoke the hunter. If you see a hunter, if you see someone go on a mission and they did not come back with that thing that they tell you they were going for, do not ask them about it because if they had it, they would show it. That's, that's basically provoking a person. So don't do it. Use your observation. Observation is key. And this is going to be the final proverb for tonight, for this session. No matter how much milk a cow has, you cannot milk butter from it no matter how much milk a cow has you cannot milk butter from it this is our final proverb for the eighth session and we will be leaving this proverb for one of our viewers or subscribers to translate it leave it in the comment section and we will read their views on this proverb on our next session i love you my brother my sister wherever you are around the world just all observe the laws and regulations of nature. Let us live in peace and abide in love. Until our next session, 
I'm saying one love from us here in Jamaica. Bless her. Come, Jadine.